Well, g'day everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. You know, the firmware 1.6 on the Canon R5 has just opened up a whole new world for this camera. And I'm gonna show you what that does for me. It means that 8K RAW becomes now feasible and I've been using it on higher end projects and things like that. I do like the image coming out of 8K RAW and we can continually record 8K RAW onto the CF Express card with the proxy also recording simultaneously onto the SD. So that's a bit of a game changer because you don't have to create proxies or use optimized media anymore in your projects and you just copy across the files and link the proxies and you're good to go. The only extra step obviously is dumping the extra card, but that is a simple step knowing that you don't have to wait all this time for proxies to be created before you can start the project. So let's jump to the back of the camera and I'll show you the setup on the camera and we'll go into DaVinci Resolve and take you through the project setup. So here we are at the back of the camera and I'm just gonna hit menu and I wanna jump across to the spanner menu item one and record function and card slash folder select. So I'm gonna select that one and I'm going to have separate recordings disabled. Don't need that one. Record options for the video mode. I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna choose the RAW and MP4 setting like that. So it's gonna shoot RAW onto the CF Express and MP4 onto the SD card. So then from there, I'm gonna come back to my main recording menu and I'm gonna click on the movie record quality there, movie record size, and it's giving me two hours, 17 minutes, 8KD, 25 raw, and then IPB light is gonna record to the SD card. Now, I might actually go for something a little bit heavier in the IPB. So I'll go for a raw light and a standard IPB because that's gonna give me a 4K standard IPB that I can then use Later on, I can do other things with that and that's gonna give me a good quality. So that's my settings there and I'm pretty much done now with this step. So now I'm gonna go record some footage on this. We'll jump on the computer after that and I'll import it into DaVinci Resolve. So we've got the cards, we've got 8K on this one, 4K on this one. I'm gonna put them in and start to dump them onto my computer. And grab the proxies as well, which are on this one. It's all MP4s. And that card was shot clean, so I'm just going to copy everything from there. And I'm going to create a new folder here for those, call it proxy. Well, while we wait for that to copy over, I am running on a Mac Mini, the M1 version, full spec with the 8 gig, I think it is, of RAM or is it 16? The full spec one anyway. And so we're gonna, once everything's in and I'm putting it into Resolve, I'm gonna show you what the playback's like with just the 8K. And then I'm gonna show you what playback is like with the proxies as well. So we're all copied across now. So in the media tab here, we're gonna go into our file we, where we put the footage. And we're gonna grab all of that little coffee montage here, drag it in gonna ask it to change the frame rate. And that is pretty much all we're gonna do. What we'll do straight away is we'll create a timeline with all these clips. And I'm just going to create a new timeline from selected clips, create, 
Just want to check my settings here for the project. So I'm just going to go quickly to check the project settings, 25 frames, and it's showing me a resolution of 1920 by 1080, which is actually okay because that would be my best way to see if this is going to play back for me or not, remembering that this is 8K raw footage. So let's see if this plays back and how we go without the proxies being linked. So it kind of looks like this is going to play back for us. Although I've just hit spacebar now and it didn't do anything. So yeah, here we're having a kind of a glitch out and a problem um, with it. But it seems to be playing back. It's just flickering and saying media offline. So that's an issue uh, that we're having because the footage is just so massive. So, and you know, if we apply color grades to this footage, let's go and do that. Let's just go and apply one of my LUTs to this. Um, my Canon Cine LUT uh, for Log3. So this is Log3 now with a LUT on it and let's see if it's gonna play back for us. So it seems to be playing back not too badly for me, but generally if I'm doing a more complex edit, it would start to slow down for me. So I'll go back into the media tab. I'm gonna select all the clips, right click, go down to uh, link proxy media. Now. We already have the proxy media in another location here where we put it in the 8K raw workflow folder and proxies. So we're going to come into here and click open. Now it's gonna match all that media to the proxy and we've got to make sure that up in the top here with playback, we're going to say use optimized media if available and use proxy media if available. So now this color grade is actually on our proxy media. So we can basically play this back now uh, real time with no issues whatsoever because we're actually playing back the proxy media here. Yeah, and the look of the clip looks quite good. Um, but we can get on with editing and we can do our color work and everything like that. Now, at the end of it all, we want to make sure that we're not color grading the proxy clip. We want to be color grading the raw clip at the end. So we can look at this 4434 here. We can come up to here, 4434, this last clip. And we want to say here, unlink proxy media. Now, watch what happens when I unlink it. I'm going to unlink it and you'll see what happens to the actual clip. So it just brightens it up a little bit. So really there's not a lot of difference in the clips. Um, so if we can understand that there's this, there's this brightness that comes with the 8K RAW that isn't in the proxy, we can actually color grade pretty much on the proxy. And at the end, we can just check, we can unlink them and check. But what we do, what we'll do is we'll just link that back again and basically it darkens it because now we're looking at the proxy. So that's just a little caveat for you when you're editing and color grading on the proxies. It's not really a good practice to do that, but it doesn't change if you're shooting in log and interpreting in log, it doesn't change it all that much. But hopefully this has helped you. This is my workflow now with shooting in 8K and it's made it so much more usable on the R5. With the 1.6 firmware, I feel like we've finally got the camera that we all hoped for in the beginning, that we believed it could be. Now we get the firmware that actually unlocks all the capabilities of this camera and it is seriously awesome. We can take our productions to another level and I'm super stoked and excited for what I'm going to produce with the R5 in the years to come. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.